This is lesson 5.1, Bisectors of Triangles. Your objectives are to identify and use perpendicular bisectors in triangles and to identify and use angle bisectors in triangles. A perpendicular bisector is a line, segment, or ray that is perpendicular to a segment and passes through the midpoint. The perpendicular bisector theorem says that if a point is on the perpendicular bisector of a segment, then it's equidistant from the endpoints of the segment. So you could have equal measures there. The converse of that is also true. And the circumcenter says that the perpendicular bisectors of the sides of a triangle intersect at a point called the circumcenter, which is equidistant from the vertices of a triangle. So anytime you have these equal measures, be prepared to make an equation where those equal measures equal each other and then you would solve for the variable. Also be prepared for right angles because they're perpendicular, so maybe an angle measure equals 90. Now let's draw the perpendicular bisectors of a triangle. For the first one, make sure that it hits the segment at a right angle and it cuts that segment into two congruent halves. Do that for the next side. Hits it at a right angle and cuts that into two congruent halves. And the third one hits the third side at a right angle and cuts that side into two congruent halves. Those are the three perpendicular bisectors of a triangle. The perpendicular bisectors intersect at the same point and that point is called the circumcenter. The circumcenter is equidistant from the three vertices of the triangle. And because that's true, it's also the center of a circle that touches the three vertices of the triangle. Those three distances from the circumcenter to the vertices, those are all congruent. So be prepared to have those measures equal each other. So when you're doing questions that involve the perpendicular bisectors, make sure you look for these things. If you're talking about one of the right angles, make that measure equal 90. When you have a side cut in half, you might need to take one half segment measure and make it equal to the other half segment measure, since those two would be the same. Or maybe you're talking about the measures from the circumcenter to the vertices, and you'd need to make those equal. So keep track of all the things that the perpendicular bisectors do, and be prepared to write your equation to solve. Angle bisectors are another special segment, ray, or line. And that divides an angle into two congruent angles. The angle bisector theorem says that if a point is on an angle bisector, then it's equidistant from the sides of the angle. The converse of that is also true. And the in center theorem says that the angle bisectors of a triangle intersect at the in center, which is equidistant from the sides of the triangle. So now let's draw the three angle bisectors of a triangle. An angle bisector cuts an angle into two congruent halves. So when you draw it, try to draw it in such a way that it cuts the angle in half. Those two halves are congruent.
draw the next one. Those two angles are congruent. And the third one, which notice, goes through the same intersection that the first two went through. And those two angle halves are congruent. The angle bisectors intersect at the same point, and that point is called the end center. And the end center is the center of an inscribed circle. That touches the three sides of the triangle. The reason that works is because the end center is equidistant from the three sides of the triangle those three distances to the sides of the triangle are the same, you might make an equation where their measures equal each other. What to look for for the angle bisectors? Well, since they cut an angle in half, you might say that the half angle measure equals the other half angle measure. And also, since the end center is equidistant from the sides of the triangle, you might have those distances equal each other. So make sure that you keep track of all of the properties of the perpendicular bisectors and the angle bisectors. Make your equation fit the situation that's going on. If you have a right angle, maybe something equals 90. If a segment is bisected, maybe the segment halves equal each other. If an angle is bisected, maybe the angle halves equal each other. Always make your equation fit the rule that is happening. Use good judgment to determine what's going on.